So we've talked about this company before. And if I remember correctly, based off one comment, this is how okay. you say it. Ziyun. Oh. oh. Not because I think I said Ziyun last time. And we got a right. comment. And I believe it was Ziyun. Yes. I, I, think I hope you're I'm right. not getting it wrong again. <laughs> they make gimbals, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, so the last time we talked about the M3, which was just like, whoa, this is this is a very interesting gimbal. Now they've come out with an M2S, Ooh. which uh, is essentially just a smaller version of the M3. Um, they already had an M2, and now the M2S has the unique features that the M3 has, but on that smaller uh, body. Uh, it's got the fill light, USB-C fast charge, uh, and a built-in display. And obviously, like I said, nice and compact. Um, it weighs 549 grams, which I don't, I don't think it's that much. I mean, I don't have anything to put it <laughs> into perspective on that. So, yeah, but well, I don't think that's that heavy anyway. That's the point. It's pretty, it was pretty, pretty like, I think I would say around that okay. size. Yeah. Roughly going off the photos. It's kind of hard to tell, but. Uh, I mean, I can pop some pictures in because uh, there was definitely some on their website of someone holding it. Mm -hmm. So you can see there. Um, it can hold various cameras, including phones, uh, action cams, and some mirrorless cameras. Ooh, uh, okay. I looked briefly through the list of compatible cameras, and it included the EOS R and RP. So you would be able to use it. Um, I think that's only with some sort of smaller lens. You probably wouldn't be able to do it with a 24 to 70. You'd probably need like True. a 50 or something. True. Um, R5 and R6 were not on there. <laughs> no way. They they are bigger for the mirror for mirrorless cameras. Um, th those are the only two I or four I guess the only ones I took note of. But uh, you, I'll put a link in the description of the actual compatible cameras that they have on their uh, website um so the uh light the it offers up to 1000 lumens of brightness along with an adjustable five level uh like amount of light you can obviously okay, put okay. it so yeah a nice nice five options of brightness um and four color filters as well so that's nice. Uh, the color temperature of the light, the regular color temperature is 5,500K. So daylight, roughly. Yeah. Daylight might be 5,000, somewhere around there. Um, and to put it in perspective, the brightness, because I was still not sure of what 1,000 lumens is. And I know the last time when we read however many lumens the other one was, we were like, cool. I don't actually know how bright that is. But yep. this will definitely makes sense for you uh i compared it to the aperture mc okay which has a max brightness uh on the website i found of 1100 lumens so 100 more than the one on the gimbal um, okay so that would mean this light's pretty powerful for like a compact light probably like that big roughly yeah. it's pretty yeah. tiny i mean it's probably going to be pretty harsh too i don't know how, That's how many true. Like how and how many on how many occasions, Jesus, you would want to use it. But if you don't have any light available, then it would certainly be nice to use. Nice. To yeah. Have. I mean, it would be pretty good for like nighttime vlogging. Maybe? Exactly. Exactly. Something like that. Yeah. And I guess if you could somehow put something to diffuse the light in front of it, then for that could sure. help too. It would definitely take some of the power away from it yeah. but i mean what can i you, mean if you're holding you can only out, ask for so much with yeah 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 um i mean my aperture is about maybe two and a half three feet away from me and like this is the kind of thing i mean you guys saw from last week when it turned off the big difference mm, it made yeah yeah um, exactly so i think that's a pretty powerful light 
and mm-hmm. it would be it really would be just perfect for someone vlogging. I don't know if absolutely you could really use it for any other purpose other than that. Probably not, unless it's some sort of close up shot, and you want that kind of harsh light, then you yeah. can probably get away with it. Um, it also comes with the newest quick release plate that's only been seen on their flagship gimbals. Okay, uh, it features a. V-shaped design and dual safety locks to ensure utmost safety and efficiency. That's that's as good stated to know. on their website. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. Uh, then we got the built-in display, which is 0.66 inches, okay. uh, and it offers a battery readout as well as indications of the gimbal mode, uh, which. I think you'd probably expect that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it supports a variety of options. You got pan follow, lock, POV, vortex, Ooh. and okay. uh, others. I don't know what the others were, but vortex just looks cool when it's just it's just spinning. Yeah, yeah. It it just yeah it looks cool. Anyway, um, the battery is the same size as the M3, the That's bigger good. one. Um, yeah, so that offers a runtime of up to ten hours. That's yeah, I would, long I would time. Totally, like that has to be good. If if you're getting a nice big battery in yeah, like a smaller yeah. design, lighter cameras too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh it said it supports PD fast charge protocol with a okay. maximum of 12 watts, allowing for charging time to be completed in one hour and 41 minutes. I was about to say because quick. that's that's about as fast as your iPhones charge. Yeah. That's fast. Um, and you can operate the gimbal while charging with a power bank, assuming you have a power bank and you're not just charging it, uh, mm-hmm. you know, like in a wall. But, but that's um, definitely nice too. Yeah. A nice feature. Absolutely. Um, and for price, it's pretty affordable. Uh, $269 US, uh, which is 339 Canadian. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if you want the like combo, which adds a backpack with it, Ooh. uh, that would be 349 us and 439 Canadian, which is like definitely affordable, yeah. um, and has features that most gimbals don't like I, again, we said this in the last one, I haven't seen any other gimbals with a light on it. And, you know, I, I think the other one even had a, something for a mic this one didn't mention that i don't remember True. what it was now i remember that um exactly but yeah so anyway it has features that you don't see in other gimbals it's compact super affordable so like i think this is probably the perfect gimbal for someone who has either smaller mirrorless camera an action cam or their phone and they want smoother footage absolutely yeah yeah, I, I, man, I want to get my hands on one of these or Yo, or the M3 same. or both. Yeah, just send it over. I, honestly. <laughs> Ziyun, now that we're saying it right, I think, hopefully. Yeah, respect. Send this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if we're not, just tell us how we're still saying it wrong. Yeah. In the no, in, a, in the, when you send the box with the gimbal, put a note in. It's pronounced this way. Boom. Or, or Easy get, that. get one of those cards, right? That you open up and it starts playing a song. Just record oh your, own, the yes. own, your own pronunciation. So we actually Boom. like open the card and it, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> that is actually perfect. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it.